The big question the Transatlantic Alliance faces at this summit is, how much longer can Ukraine hold on? And for Americans, and a growing list of quietly worried allies, the same can be asked of the man who casts himself as Ukraine's biggest champion, President Joe Biden. On Monday, the 81-year-old Biden said he's staying in the presidential race, amid a growing list of calls for him to step aside after his shaky debate performance last month. The White House on Monday refuted questions that NATO allies are concerned that these cracks at the leadership level could put the 75-year-old alliance on shaky ground, as it meets in Washington this week. We're not picking up any signs of that from our allies at all, quite the contrary. The conversations that we're having with them in advance, they're they're excited about this summit, they're excited about the possibilities and the things that we're going to be doing together specifically to help Ukraine. Analysts say that while NATO leaders are indeed worried, they are being careful to not be seen as meddling in U.S. politics. I think there is a concern in NATO. uh, uh, They may, the leaders of uh, the NATO countries may not love Joe Biden, uh, But uh, if we look back to the Trump administration, he said a number of things that uh, were really anti-NATO. And and I think, with with all honesty, that most uh, NATO countries would prefer Biden, again, not necessarily because they're so pro-Biden, but because of uh, the things that Trump has said and threatened to do about NATO. Uh, Again, but they don't want to necessarily say a lot about this publicly because it looks like they're interfering in American elections, which is not something they're supposed to do. And there are other cracks among leaders in the alliance. Hungary's far-right leader recently visited Russian President Vladimir Putin and cast himself as a bridge between the two adversaries. At this summit, 32-member group plans to take over Washington's role coordinating Ukraine's defense. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last two and a half years, there are fewer and fewer, and now remain hardly any who are able to speak with both warring parties. Hungary is one of very few. One thing unlikely to happen during the summit, a breakthrough in the conflict. Putin says Ukraine is not ready to discuss terms, which he says includes the retreat of Ukrainian troops from the four regions Russia says it is annexed. Ukraine seeks a just peace that includes all of its territory, and Ukraine's leader will attend this week's summit to press his case for that and for NATO membership in the future. The alliance meets Tuesday in Washington. Anita Powell, VOA News, the White House.